Hello everyone, my name is Yellow, and I would like to show you a recent letter game of mine. It was my Handmaid's Deck versus the Paladin. It's a very interesting game where uh, both me and my opponent rely on unpopular cards like Lorewalker, Cho and Lightwells. Uh, the game has a few moments where the odds to survive for me are fairly low, and I do manage to bottom deck most of my key cards, but I do fight till the end. The game is quite long, but I'll leave you some timestamps in the description of this video uh, to go to the more interesting parts. Uh, but I do recommend watching the full game if you have some time. So uh, without further ado, please enjoy Paladin vs Mage, a game of light wells. So yeah, here we go. Paladin vs Mage. I, will fight with honor. Uh, I actually get a pretty good opening hand here. Explosive Sheep and Unstable Portal are pretty good against any aggress aggressive plays from him. But I do feel that I could yeah, keep Arcane Intellect there. It's already had a good hand. This game is, uh, by the way, costed afterwards because I didn't actually use it for it. It's more fun to watch a game which is analyzed. So, my own set portal actually gives me a Shattered Sun there, which is pretty good. Zero mana, 1 1 buff with a free body. Can be useful in any, any situation later on. Yeah, I felt uh, since I'm always working towards Molten Giants that I. Uh, was allowed to take some damage there, so I just decided to draw more cards. Hence the hand mage part. Unfortunately this happened. Could have expected it because a lot of people actually run Blessing of Kings now. And it's a good target for it. Uh, so yeah, that was actually quite a bad start. But uh, yeah, at least I get like a huge Twilight Drake now. Or 10. And yeah, buffing it up to a 511. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Figure that we actually had to trade in his 6-6 with the Fine Shield. We see a mistake from his side here, he could have cleared the Drake, he has exact the level damage on the field. Decides to go for the face, leaving me already on 4 I just started, so that's pretty good for me. It's not the worst Flame of Python I've had, but it's also not the best. At least it triggers, um, yeah, the secret. And I can now safely kill the 6-6 before it can hit my face. And since I'm on low health, I decided to play Icebot there. None of the creatures really would work. So yeah, <laughs> that defying favor, like seriously. That's a lot of cards. Well played. Mistake from my side, I guess, but I'll it's how my deck works. I'll show them all. Here I uh, try to be a bit lucky, use the Mad Scientist to get a duplicate out, because I already played Ice Block and I a guaranteed duplicate. And I play Heal Bot, because if I duplicate that, then. Yeah, I can do a lot of healing in this game, which is quite important. I was waiting for bigger cards. Actually, it works out. Should not have. Wait a minute. But yeah, it was a risky move for me that actually paid off in the end. So I finally draw one of my bear cards and decided to just make it a taunt wall because, yeah, Paladin removal ain't the strongest. Put your faith in the light. So Tyrion decides to show up. I can actually easily trade it here by just pinging it. But he does get a huge weapon then. But I decided to try and fish for Polymorph first. I actually do get, so I was quite happy with that one. And yeah, I'm even more happy about it after well seeing played. this. The fact that, uh, yeah, Redemption, Tyrion, would have been annoying. Yeah, that's a lot of damage for his face. Wouldn't say that this game was gonna drag out so long if you didn't stay the game. But yeah, he pays quite a big price to uh, kill my Mountain Giant there. Second blessing of Kings out of the way and a Consecration. So, uh, yeah, not the worst for me. Uh, yeah, here I was just like 
trying to get my key cards. I don't have Ragnarok, Salic Strasa, or two of my Molten Giants, nor actually my Sludges. So I'm just healing and delaying. Hoping to get more anti guild bots from that duplicate. Basically dragging, uh, dragging it out. I do actually make quite a neat player, I think. Uh, with the right ordering, I managed to yeah, play around the fence here, clearing the board, and wasting his last charge on uh, sort of justice. I was actually quite happy with this one. Leaves me in a pretty good spot. The light protects me. I'll show them. I'll show them all. So yeah, he fills the board with yeah. <laughs> A lot of annoying stuff. And the original plan was to just do double explosive ship, but um, I kind of wanted to clear the full board, so uh, yeah, I wanted to kill the shredder. I was get a light well from that. Let's see how that went out. Yeah, event happens, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, it was a Lord Walker Cho, which is not like something that I thought I needed to remove immediately. But I decided to just use one to yeah, make the threats left less good. Then another revenge comes in. So yeah, that's like well yeah, difficult situation for me. Uh, biggest mistake I think I made in this game was this turn. I actually forget that I have a duplicate up, so I just play these two uh, and yeah, allow him to waste my duplicate onto Glidewild. That was not planned at all. You don't want to like that. <laughs> Even if you want to drag out the game, it's not good. Enough. For duty. The light. So yeah, he gets like a decent board again, and yeah, I just I need to delay more. I'm still waiting for Ragnarok, Molten Giant, Sledges, and they're not coming. So yeah, delay, delay, delay. He does manage to keep pressure neatly. Technically speaking, I could have had a second flame strike in the back, so he's not really playing around that. But yeah, I just wanted to yeah, make the board uh, less impressive than it is right now, so I uh, give him a lot of stuff to deal with. Maybe it was not the best play to put the explosion sheath out there without triggering it myself. But yeah, I do actually accomplish what I wanted to do, and that's just make the board less of a threat. For duty. So that's Sylvanas though, <laughs> that is a big problem because playing Alex Strass on an empty field for me is not an option anymore, that's just giving him an angry body. Um, so yeah, I just yeah, I decide to ping Sylvanas here, so if she attacks Sludge, then, which is the correct play from his side. Uh, I can actually ping it, ping it to death next turn, giving him absolutely nothing. At least, yeah, that's, that was the plan. And this happened. Which was quite unfortunate, but... Yeah. I still at least have my eyes for So here I, I think that I, I had no idea how to win anymore. I do finally draw Molten Giant. I just wanted to lower Sylvanas' health there. I was trying to delay more and more. I just allowed him to pop my uh, Ice Block here. Because, um, yeah, I wanted the Molten Giant on Extrasa and hoping that the Light Well would be alive. Um, yeah, he couldn't kill the Light Well and trigger the Ice Block. He's seriously one damage off that. Even if with different ordering, he's overkilling for four now. So if I 
that's redirected to the light well could have survived. But yeah, the light well does give me a nice heal, but yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, this is the most risky play, but I felt that uh, since I have 4 health, direct damage was not not really that much of an option for Paladin. So I do the risky echo play and actually just make a taunt wall. And yeah, throwing out there the light bar out there to give Sylvanas a slightly less big uh, chance of getting a molten. Does kill Choir, so I don't get my echo back because yeah, I did give him an echo on a field with a lot of minions. Might not have been the best play, but I felt that this was my only chance. He should have actually hit the other Molten Giant there, and have a bigger chance of actually getting a Molten Giant himself. But yeah, that that was I probably the biggest quickly. mistake from him. Follow the rules. He does mitigate all my damage, so. Does end up broken. You can finally play Alexstrasza without having to worry too much. I'm just, yeah, trying to clear the board a bit more so uh, Alexstrasza is safe and can start doing damage. That light well though. I have no time for games. I was keeping track of his, uh, yeah, card count for the entire game after the fine favor, and yeah, I was trying to play uh, around that. Yeah, I just wanted to free Sylvanas here so she doesn't die and actually have lethal on the board now. So um, I was hoping that uh, I would finish the game next turn. Fortunately, he had a blessed champion, which you basically never see. Once again, he manages to actually remove all my damage. So, with actually most of my keycards drawn, except Ragnaros, I'm in a pretty difficult spot, and I have no idea how to finish this. Smart move him from him there to attack the light well, because then it heals itself potentially. Uh, and the other targets are more important. So here is where I decide, yeah, the only way for me to win is through fatigue. Because I don't really have damage dealers anymore. But this does work. A really big heal here is the light wall actually heals Sylvanas. Uh, that makes sure that Sylvanas actually survives the turn. Black. Allowing me to have more stuff on my side, which is good. So my goal is just to keep stuff on my side without, like, Sylvanas dying. So um, I think I did quite a neat play here. I um, yeah, I need to delay more to let the fatigue win me this game. So. I decided to taunt like that, allowing Sylvanas to not die. It's good that the light well healed his uh, Elder Peacekeeper there, it's pretty big. Yeah, the light wells actually had a really important part in this game with all the random heals. Yeah, chances and keeping stuff alive. It's quite fun. Reporting for duty. And I finally draw my Ragnaros. So yeah, I figured at least it's a 1 in 8 chance of winning there. And the next fatigue damage is 5 damage. So either the Lightwell heals one of the creatures and I win. It's also why I didn't attack the Sludge. It actually does heal the Sludge. And that's how I win. The odds in the end were 66% in my favor, so that was pretty good. Thanks for watching.